invite you, your excellency to open the market through the bell ringing thank you sir this is a historic moment for us at the exchange and there will be a countdown i don't know how the countdown is being done whoever is responsible for the countdown at the end of the countdown mr president we shall ask you to ring the bell and i'm sure that that ring of the bell will lift not just this boat but all boats 13 12 11 10 Nine in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, two, one. And now the bell goes, ladies and gentlemen. And the ringing of the bell signifies the opening of the markets for the day. It signifies the opening of the markets for the day. Thank you. Good afternoon, class. allow broader access to the capital markets and faster transfer of wealth and opportunities among investors. Indeed, it was a government proactive approach to bringing efficiency and clearing and settlement processes of listing securities that resulted in the passing of the Central Depository Act and this act provided a legal basis for the formation of the Central Depository and Settlement Corporation CDSC in 2004. The CDSC, Your Excellency, was formed to provide trust in the market through um, depository and settlement. As a core provider of these services for the, for the past 18 years, we have continued to give investors and issuers peace of mind regarding the safety and availability of their assets, as well as the timely delivery of their securities following trading at the exchange. We are proud of the enabling, of the enabling environment that our operations continue to provide to our industry and more importantly, to the people of Kenya. Through the years of operations, we have facilitated the onboarding of 1.6 million investors who have participated in various IPOs, including most notably KenGen and Safaricom IPOs, which remain the largest uh, listings to date. By holding all records of investors and listed securities electronically, we have brought down settlement times for some of the grey-haired ones in the room, you might recall that it used to take over two weeks to settle a trade. Um, but now, in line with international standards, we are within three days of a trade to ensure that both, both buyers and settlers, sellers of securities can access their shares and funds, respectively, within international accepted timelines. We also, we also ensured that our market was fully dematerialized to facilitate efficiency and guarantee the security of investor assets by having their shareholding in electronic uh, format in our central depository system. Your Excellency, we have sought to enhance the value proposition of our market to both international investors by making um, significant enhancement to our systems and our security. In 2020, we were rated highly um, by the, an international um, accreditating agency. 
Part of our efforts to increase the attractiveness of our local markets has been through innovation and development of new products that attract a wide variety of customers. Through the Securities Lending and Borrowing, or SLB, platform, we have made it possible for investors to make money both during bull and bear market conditions. And most importantly, SLB is giving our institutional clients, like pension schemes, the options of increasing their investment returns while still enjoying um, shareholder benefits, which is a win-win for them and a win for pension um, clients alike, and a win for the, the entire market. Um, in, in closing, I would say, you know, Mr. President, we cannot, uh, we appreciate the benefits cannot be transformative to the general public if investors do not have easy access to our products and services. Um, to this end, we are making, or we have made, significant strides by partnering with the NSE stockbrokers, custodian banks, and developed um, systems that allow um, automation of the system, so account opening, maintenance of accounts, giving Kenyans real equal access to opportunities in the market. Your Excellency, we know, and you've mentioned it, that you are passionate about growing the savings culture of our nation, and we believe we can be a valuable partner in helping you achieve this noble vision. CDSC and the entire industry is ready to work with your government to grow our capital markets and make Kenya a financial hub and investment destination of choice for both local and international businesses and investors. CDSC will continue to make steady and positive steps to facilitate and offer sustainable and self-wealth creation options for our customers, and we commit to continue facilitating secure, transparent, and efficient marketplaces that make progress for all investors. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. And now, Your Excellency, Mr. Nicholas Nesbitt, who is the Chairperson of Capital Markets Authority. Mr. Nesbitt Karibo. Thank you. Your Excellency, Dr. William Samoy. Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Your Excellency, Deputy President, Mr. Rigati Kishagwa, all invited and distinguished guests, good morning. I'm extremely delighted to join you all today on this momentous occasion for the bell ringing by the Fifth President of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, this historic official visit to the Nairobi Securities Exchange a month into your presidency speaks volumes about your personal commitment and your government's commitment to supporting the aspirations of the capital markets industry and amplifies your drive to increase savings in the country. We appreciate your very kind visit. Your Excellency, in my brief remarks, I'd like to make just three points. Number one, we must create more education, excitement, and products for the investing citizens. The capital markets has been a critical ass uh, catalyst in mobilization of savings and investments towards productive enterprise in Kenya. We know that. We have offered citizens the opportunity to generate a healthy return on their investments in the securities exchange and intend to continue to do so. And over the last 25 years, we've welcomed the government's role in increasing the, the number of opportunities for investment by divesting equity via the, neuro, the NSE. Three IPOs, Kenya Airways, KenGen, and Safaricom, raised 60 billion shillings and brought in 1.2 million new retail investors as the government democratized national asset ownership. On the debt side, the capital market has similarly financed key infrastructural projects in Kenya, notably the KenGen Public Infrastructure Bond and several government infrastructure bonds raising over 1.2 trillion in 13 years, about 100 billion shillings per year on average. These debt listings have also increased Kenyan savers, Kenyans' saving options. And therefore, going forward, Your Excellency, the CMA will work closely with your government, the NSC, and CDSC to encourage more listings of both public and private entities. In addition, Your Excellency, 
to support ordinary citizens to save and create wealth through the capital markets, we have rolled out collective investment schemes, unit trusts. These allow retail investors to pool funds and have them managed by a professional fund manager licensed by the CMA. The assets under management of collective investment schemes have tripled from 2014 until today, from 54 billion shillings to 150 billion shillings, that's growth of about 15% per year. Traditional capital market products, namely shares, are still active. However, the volumes are low, mainly because the public has stayed away from share ownership. Perhaps it was since the last significant IPO, which was Safaricom in 2007, they have not seen very much activity. There's not been very much to speculate on. I think, as we were saying on a light note, People don't quite understand what the securities exchange is and what can be done here. There's also been some feedback from the public about the economic realities. And therefore, Your Excellency, the CMA will continue to invest further in outreach programs to encourage our ecosystem of partners, many of whom are in this room, to educate the investing public on how to create wealth in the capital markets. But we still have lots of work to do to facilitate increased investor activity every year. Which leads me to my second point, Your Excellency. We must make the capital markets more attractive to the supply side, to the companies who want to use the capital markets in their financing strategies. Several years ago, Your Excellency, you engaged the capital markets fraternity and asked what do we need to do differently? You ask several questions. You ask where the listed companies, anchor investors, could seed less than 25%. Was there an issue for them? You asked why MSMEs were not accessing cheaper long-term funds from the capital market instead of going for the more expensive short-term funding. And we know in the capital markets, if you raise your money here and your company runs into trouble, Nobody comes to evict you. Your Excellency, we took up your challenge and engaged MSMEs to listen to their concerns and appreciate what would attract them to the capital markets. In the process, we've demonstrated our commitment to supporting their financing journeys, and the NSE has consequently onboarded 33 of them into the Ibuka Incubator Program. And as we said earlier, we're going to accelerate how many of those can go higher and list on the larger boards. After listening to these stakeholders, CMA overhauled regulations on capital raising, what's known as the draft public offers listing and disclosures regulation, and we're now waiting for those regulations to be gazetted. There are five key reforms, basically making it easier, lowering the requirements, increasing the scope of companies that can raise capital, allowing the waiving of regulatory costs for deserving firms and significantly lowering the costs of compliance. Your Excellency, the third point I'd like to make is that the CMA is focused heavily on promoting innovation in this space. You recently pronounced that we need to fully leverage the fintech space to enable small investors to access affordable capital. CMA introduced a regulatory sandbox in 2020 a safe place where businesses can test innovative products, innovative services, and innovative